What's up, Lit family? Welcome to another vlog, another travel vlog. Today we are in Perfect Day at Coco Cay, Royal Caribbean's private island. We'll be snorkeling and showing you all the things that there is to do out here on this island. It has a water park. It has multiple different beaches you can go on. It was not like this in 2017 when we came out here. Also, it was a tender port. So you had the ship docked in the middle of the water and then a boat came and took us to, to the island. I'm gonna show so, you that video too. Yeah, <laughs> our insider video. They also have, um, so here's our ship. We're on Wonder of the Seas. Um, they also have trolleys that will take you from here, from the ship to the island. But we can walk, we can use the exercise. We have been um, eating, 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 and more eating. So here's Coco Cay. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel content. We'll be bringing a lot more videos to you guys. We are the only ship out here. Um, Wonder of Disease, which is nice um, because we basically have the island to ourselves. Um, and it's gonna be a little less crowded, but I mean, Wonder has like 6,000 people on it and it's a sold out ship. So, I don't know, we'll see. We're getting out here kinda late too, it's 11.20. Um, so we only got about four four hours out here, but it's a little overcasty, so it, it feels pretty good right now. It's really windy, it feels pretty good. Um, we brought our snorkels so we can snorkel. I mentioned earlier that um, on Coco K, snorkeling is free if you have your own snorkel gear. You can just pick up a life vest and go out there and snorkel. Or if you do want to snorkel, you can rent the snorkel gear for about 20 bucks. Um, and then you can snorkel on your own. You don't have to get a snorkeling excursion. But I'm getting, so I hope it looks good. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Finna go snorkeling uh, and try not to suck up no water. Pause. <laughs> so for any booking information on this trip, or if y'all want help booking the trip, contact me at bookings at Lux and Travel. I'll put it right here on the screen. Uh, and it's free to book with me. Uh, I don't charge you anything extra to book with me as a travel agent. So use me, use my expertise. And, and comment on the video too. Let us know what y'all like, what y'all don't like, what we need to do better. You know, this is a new travel vlog. We're trying to get it started, trying to show y'all all of our adventures as we grow with our family. Uh, we love taking vacations with our families. Uh, all of our families like traveling, doing adventurous stuff. So we don't come out here and just go to sleep. We're trying to get up and get active. Oh yeah, we get active. So this is Captain Jack's 
It's one of the included um, dining spots on Coco Cay. So right now we're gonna head to South Beach, see what South Beach has to offer. Coco Cay has three different beaches, I believe. They have Oasis Lagoon, Chill, Chill Beach, and and uh, Chill Island in South Beach. Not the South Beach y'all to think about. <laughs> so we're gonna go on South Beach, but I think Chill Island is the better spot if you have like children because the water is a little bit calmer over there. Um, so we're gonna figure out the best place to go snorkeling and then we'll let y'all know. So we're going to South Beach. It's a little mini trek to South Beach. So if you have a stroller, uh, if you don't have anybody with you who can lift the stroller up, it's like an area of soft sand or a wheelchair or anything like that. South Beach might not be the beach for you, okay? But we got this little harder sand track area. So he, um, he was able to push the stroller. But yeah, there's this little path and it's covered with trees. So it's a little shaded, so. That's nice. And we have arrived to South Beach. water bar over there so there's like a swim up floating bar right there and then they have the overwater cabanas as well you can rent I think those cabanas run you about four thousand dollars a day so I think it's up to six or eight people for the cabanas and they run you about four thousand dollars so you can split that between six or eight people and uh, you'll have your overwater cabana for the day I think it comes with your private butler and a little cooler and they have little slides on there too you can see the slides we just finished <laughs> snorkeling y'all the snorkeling on at least on south beach was uh i mean it was snorkeling we didn't do anything we didn't see anything um they have like a reef like a little grassy patch with seaweed but we literally didn't see anything there's really nothing to see but there's snack shack right here snack shack is included on for that Coco Cay is one of the included dining spots. So I've been hearing a lot about these mozzarella sticks. So I'm definitely gonna check them out. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. I got mozzarella sticks. And over here they have a little bar where you can do all your toppings and everything and fruit. So I got some fruit, mozzarella stick, cookies, and we got burgers, fries. We also got a funnel cake and a lovely Greek salad. So pretty decent option. What's that? It's a Mediterranean salad. Oh, that's the Mediterranean Mediterranean salad. <laughs> it looks awful. <laughs> I see it. We snorkeled, we, which there wasn't really much to see with the snorkel. 
um, in South Beach. Then we came to Oasis Lagoon. Well, yeah, after the snorkel, we went to the snack shack, got some food, and then we came to Oasis Lagoon. And that's where the party is, y'all. Oasis Lagoon is where the party is. Like I mentioned before, the Chill Beach, Chill Island is like a good family place. We did not get a chance to go to Chill Island today, um, nor did we go to the um, actual water park the next time I come out here. The water park is something that I really want to do though because it looks so fun. Oh, and right here, the the air balloon. I didn't fly it today. I didn't see it up in the air today. Um, so I'm assuming it was too windy or something for the balloon. So we're on the way back to the ship. We have to be there at 3.30. The gangway comes up at 3.30. It's 3 o'clock. Um, so we're just walking back. We decided not to catch the tram. I do advise coming out here early, like closer towards when they first dock because if you're like us and you like to get active and you like to do stuff and you like to party and you don't like to miss stuff i have a big old fomo i don't like to miss anything um get out here early we are with family and we have a less than a one-year-old who you talking about oasis i told him about oasis okay, going that's where the party at yeah right. that's you where the party young couple yeah if you like the party you like music they have a pool bar so you can get in the pool get in the bar I got a couple clips. That DJ Five Boy, he mix up everything. Oh yeah. Like whatever y'all like. He did his you thing. Know what I'm saying? He did his thing. Um, and then they also have a little uh, kids area. They have the Splash Away Bay for the kids. Um, that's included in the um, for the water park. I mean for the Perfect Dead Coco okay. Cat Thrill Water Park. Thrill is not included. So just keep that in mind. That is for our trip for this ship. It would have been hundred and sixty dollars per person pretty steep pretty expensive considering they own the island they're bringing all the customers to here i really think that they could go down on the price for the water park to like 50 bucks yeah. but then zip line it they do have to zip line on the island as right well here. we're walking right past it this is one of the spots um zip lining is i think it was 85 bucks it's about like maybe two or three stories so like anywhere from 20 to 30 feet high yeah um, we've zip lined before that doesn't look like the most impressive zip line i've ever seen to me not really worth it but if you've never zip lined before i'm sure it's a great experience you can see the island and yeah for me not worth it this water park though 160 dollars is a little much but it's worth it to go in there I one thing to note if you're not used to uh traveling in like the caribbean hot areas where there's beach and sand and whatnot sand gets hot so you can go to any type of store local store walmart even on amazon order you some uh water, water shoes, shoes. Yes. even when you go in the, in the water uh really good keeps your feet nice and clean nice and clean from the sand safe yeah and, uh, and that sand get hot i forgot it, mine this it time. definitely gets hot I um, forgot mine. also but, uh, the concrete is even hotter so, uh, especially if you're going on that water park, that's one thing to note, is definitely want to bring some kind of water shoe. Um, and I'll link a pair down below that you can get on Amazon. But you can get them anywhere, and I'm sure they probably sell them out here. And I'm sure they probably, probably sell do, them in the gift shop. On, yeah, get everything. Everything that you do, get before you go on vacation, because it's definitely going to be cheap. I mean, cheaper before you get on your vacation. When you get out here to these tourist they things, taxing. baby. Just for the convenience, they're gonna tax. This is Captain Jacks. And Chill Island is back that way. Look, if you like us, you new parents, uh, not used to carrying and lugging a baby around on vacation. Uh, they do have carts that I believe you can rent um, that are like a baby cart and with they the also big have wheels. Wheelchairs. They're the big wheels, so it's easy to push in the sand. Same thing with wheelchairs if you have anybody that's, that uh, utilizes a wheelchair yeah. or a walker um, and it can't walk for extended periods. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, with the babies, of course, they have uh, the big wheel. Uh, I'm going to show you right here. So, yep. so these are the chairs with the big wheels, and they also have a baby stroller big wheels so you can get through the sand Ooh, look at that ass. 
that thing is nice y'all this is really a big ship like we already knew that it was the largest ship in the world but like really like i said before it's 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 really when you get off of it and see it like you really just have to see it for yourself like this thing is freaking it, it really is it, it's no word to describe it it is just absolutely huge it really just don't make no sense how big it is Bye, Coco K. It's been real.